sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, folks, Pie Guy here. We're going to do a teardown video of the uh, Bofung UV5R or RA. Now, we have an R here, but I'm not going to tear this one apart, but I'm going to tear this apart, which they're pretty much the same. One's just a 5R, one's a 5RA. And I think the A might be for America, because if you look here, the frequencies range is a little bit different. So, we're just going to go ahead and tear this guy down. So obviously here's the battery pack. So we'll just not worry about that because we did one a tear down on that one. So you need a star driver, but I don't have one really small enough, but this little screwdriver here will work for these front screws. Now this might not do very much when we get rid of this, but it's a teardown video, so, and we're not too concerned if we can get this to work again. I have several of these, and I only use one at a time, so, this will just take this cover off, but, now obviously this one don't have that, so, no big deal. <clears throat> but that's what it looks like when it's off. So if we flip to the back here, we got two screws here, two down here. So let's go ahead and remove them. And that one takes the cover off that holds the belt clip and if we look here a little bit closer got a little spring there for the clip little belt holder thing and that's a Phillips so let's take that off we don't need to but we will Okay, so we'll go ahead and pop this knob off. Then we'll just move down here to the bottom screws. <clears throat> we'll pop them out. Next thing we need to do is we need to take this little brass ring off. So if you got some... Uh, needle nose you can just be careful there so you don't mess the threads up but if we find it we can just put that in there and turn that guy and if we get it loose enough we can just kind of just do that all right because <clears throat> we need to take that off so we can get it apart so now, if we just take our screwdriver and kind of pry under there a little bit, this thing should pop up. Oh, we got to take that guy off. I forgot to. Same ordeal with like the other one. Grab the right thing here. Once we get this one off, it'll fall apart. Okay, so now we can just kind of slide this out. Oh, there goes that little spring there. And There we go. Just a little bit of persuasion. 
Now, I tore these apart before, and you gotta watch because the speaker, you can rip the speaker wire off. <clears throat> because the speaker's kind of glued in there. But there's your little number thing. So, there it is. And now, I'll go ahead and take these screws out, and I'll be back. All right, so I took that screw, that one, that one, and these two out. And if you slightly pull up on this screen, you can bring it off the board because it just kind of sets on there. So we'll try to keep that one piece. Then we have one more screw there. <clears throat> That's just an adjustment setting screw. Then this should come off. Well, we might have to take these guys off. That's holding the uh, SMA connector on. So let's go ahead and loosen these guys up. <clears throat> there we go. Get that out of the way. That out of the way. All right, so first thing, here's our little plate that everything's mounted to. And our little pins here that sticks up for the battery. And now the heart and gold, it's the circuit board radio. So we have our switches, connector, light, volume, on button, knob. On this side we have our key keypad and obviously that's where the screen was. And if you look there, little LED. So let me try to get this focused so you can see for a little I'll turn it to the back so that's what it looks like inside a UV5R which is probably pretty much the same across the board of these radios even with different models but at least for the UV5R this is what it looks like so hopefully this kind of gives people an idea or just wondering what's inside this 20 some 30 dollar radio so here's the screen and that was just laying on that But there is that. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one. And I'll see you on the next one.